In this video, I'm going to talk about another communication tool, and that is the commenting feature. And the commenting feature lets us leave notes in the margins of our documents so that we don't have to start monkeying with the text that's in the document itself. So it's really great for teachers if you're giving feedback to your students or you just don't want to mess with what maybe your peers have written. So let's say that I have a concern about this phrase here in this paragraph. So I'm going to highlight it because I want to make sure that my comment relates to the specific area of the specific text in my document. I'm going to go up to insert and I'm going to choose comment and notice now I get this little comment box and I can type a message just by clicking my mouse into that white box and say that sounds like Latin. Latin to me and I'll hit comment. So now in my right margin this comment box shows up. And look, I happen to be online with Susan Stewart right now on the, my document. And she can come in now and she can respond to my comment. So Susan has replied to my comment and she has said, I agree. And now if I want to reply to a comment, I'm just going to click on Susan's comment and I get the reply box and I say, let's delete it and I will hit reply. So as you can see, I've initiated a comment. The, this is the conversation thread. And if I click on my comment, and notice over on the right, I have these three dots. I'm gonna click on that. I can edit my own comments and I can delete my own comments. I can't do that for anyone else's. So I'm gonna edit my own comment and I'm gonna say, I will delete it and I'll hit save. Okay, so see if I click on Susan's, I don't get any three dots there. All I can do is just continue to reply. But notice though, up at the top, this box is white and these are blue. This indicates this was the start of the conversation because it's at the top also and it has my name if I click on my three dots, I can delete the entire thread. And if I delete the entire thread, this whole thing will be gone, even Susan's reply. So there might be occasion for do that, to do that, but I think it's really great that there's a built-in feature here for you to be able to save your comments, especially when you're working with your students. So if we look here on this box, in addition to these three dots where we, I could choose to edit or delete, I have a resolve option. And if I click resolve, it gets it out of my margin, it clears it out of there, but it's not gone altogether. Notice up at the top of our page next to our share button, we have a comments button. I'm going to click that open. And now I can see that this was the last conversation that was marked as resolved. And if I wanted to, I could open this back up. So it's really nice history to have of conversations you had about the document. Okay, so Susan added a comment that said, I like this. I'm gonna click on her comment and I'm gonna reply, great, let's keep it. And hit reply. So now we have two sets of conversations in our margin. Now, Google will do its best to line up your comments to wherever it is in your document, but you see how these two kind of, are, they're getting stacked on each other, and you can see if I needed to start making comments about further down in our paragraph, like this list is gonna get really long and we would lose track of which comment belongs to which bit of text. But notice what happens, if I, click on the highlighted text, which is indicating that there is a comment. I'm going to click on it. This pops out, pops right into the document. And if I click on the other comment, same thing, it pops out. And this color also gets bright. Another way you can tell which bit of content your comments belong to is if you click on the comment, it's going to brighten up in your text. So again, 
unless you're sure you want to delete a comment, I recommend using Resolve to get them out of your margins. And also one more thing about the comments, if you go up to your comments button, notice there's a notifications. By default, you're going to get a notification for all comments. You can change this to only yours or you can change it to none. It's going to be up to you what's going to work best. I'm going to leave mine set to all. Lastly, we talked about in another video that you could share your documents with people so that all they could do is comment. That's what the comments would look like.